Autonomous vehicles promise to make accidents and gridlock in congested cities a thing of the past. Yet the industry is stuck in neutral as companies work out kinks in the technology and transit authorities fine-tune new regulations. That hasn't stopped France's Navia from racing ahead of its competitors. The company has created the Arma, a fully electric, autonomous shuttle that uses special sensors and GPS to navigate its surroundings. It may not be legal on city streets yet, but it is legal on private sites such as airports and hotels. Navia is primed to grab a significant slice of a driverless car market that consulting firm A.T. Kearney estimates will be worth more than 500 billion euros by 2035. I found out more about the Arma and the future of autonomous vehicles from Navia CEO Christophe Sapé. We launch the operation with uh, CarPostal, which is a Swiss operator in Sion. Sion is a middle-sized uh, town in, uh, in Switzerland. And now the, uh, our Navia Arma is transporting people in the center of uh, Sion. That's to say that we are on open road uh, in the middle of our experimentation. A lot of different experimentation uh, can take place also in France, for example. We'll uh, soon open uh, a real open uh, uh, line for transportation uh, uh, from the beginning of September. We have also different experimentation in, in uh, Australia and uh, on, on which we are going to, uh, to begin the demonstration in the center of towns. And we're also delivering some uh, uh, vehicle in uh, un universities, for example, in, uh, in Qatar. You're operating currently in, in private companies, factories, amusement parks. What do you think the timeline is for regulations to actually allow the Arma or other Navia vehicles to get onto public roads. The regulation is now evolving more rapidly than uh, everybody expected. On one side, in the US, uh, every car and maker are pushing uh, a lot to, to make the regulation evolve. In Europe, also, a large number of companies are also pushing the, uh, the different government to, uh, to, to give support to the evolution of this regulation. But you know, it's very difficult to have a real uh, operation uh, because uh, even if we, uh, we know that the regulation I is ready in different towns, uh, the real situation that we are facing, because for example, the pedestrians, the, bi uh, the people with the bicycle are really not following the rules and very often we have very surprising situation. But frankly speaking, we think that the technology is not limiting the evolution of driverless vehicle because we have a really close to be able to, to have some uh, cars or shuttles in the center of towns. We are really close to, to the market. How are you going to compete long term with the global major auto manufacturers? Uh, for, you know, for the moment, Navia is a startup company which is uh, specialized in the creation, design and manufacturing of automotive uh, driverless shuttles. Uh, that's to say that we are not competing uh, very directly with a uh, big uh, player in the uh, car industry. We think that we are the only company in the world able to deliver 100% driverless shuttle. You've raised capital from Robolution, a VC that specializes in autonomous uh, vehicles and robotics. What's your future financing plans for Navia? We are now on the way to raise 20 to 25 million more in order at one time to, uh, to finance all the distribution uh, sites that we have. That's to say that we want to establish in North America and uh, on the other side and, uh, in Asia uh, Pacific uh, area. And uh, also we intend to, to create new vehicles, especially little vehicles, that's to say between three and six uh, different people in order to have a, r a whole range of our product. We are only a startup, we have uh, at least uh, 50 uh, to 60 people at, at, at that moment. We'll be, uh, I think, more than 100 people before the end of the year. <laughs>